The DWG file format is native to AutoCAD and its derivatives, but it can also be exported from many applications. You can link DWG files to 3ds Max so that any changes to the DWG can be updated in 3ds Max. There are typically two ways to work with the DWG file in 3ds Max. One method is to use a 2D DWG file as a reference so you can build 3D geometry such as walls, doors and windows in 3ds Max. The other is to use a 3D DWG file that already has 3D geometry which you can embellish and render using the superior Max tools. Either way, the process of linking a DWG file remains the same. It helps to know in advance if the DWG file you wish to link has its unit set to decimal, metric, or architectural, imperial. This determines how you should set your system units in 3ds Max, to inches if the DWG file is set to architectural, or millimeters if it's set to decimal. When scaling between the two applications, the display unit settings are less important. In this case, the display unit scale is set to meters, whereas the default unit in the DWG is in millimeters. The next step is to open the File Link Manager dialog. You can then browse for a DWG file to attach. The rescale option displays the incoming file unit. This WG file was set to the metric system. There are other options you can set to help make the transition between the two programs. 3ds Max already ships with the Revit preset that uses predefined options, but you can also create your own AutoCAD preset. This can be done through the Preset tab by creating and naming a new preset. After the preset is created, you can modify its options. Most values work well for AutoCAD files, but there are a couple of options worth noting. In the Advanced tab, enable the options that favor the use of Max materials over those incoming from AutoCAD. This is especially useful if you update your CAD drawing after you have defined and applied materials in 3ds Max. This way, any work on materials you do in 3ds Max does not get lost after you reload the updated DWG file. Save the preset to update the changes. Going back to the Attach tab, you can now select the AutoCAD preset you just created. Once a preset is created, it will not be removed unless you delete it. Before moving on, filter out the layers you do not need when working in 3D. These are usually layers that include annotations and dimensions and various construction lines. If you have formulated your layers properly in your CAD drawing, it should be easy to select only those layers that have 3D entities on them. When you attach the file, the models appear in the viewports. Materials may have been applied in AutoCAD, but usually want to adjust them in 3ds Max. Once in 3ds Max, materials defined in AutoCAD translate as either architectural materials or standard materials. In design renderings, you usually use the Mentor Ray rendering engine with physically accurate materials. This means you need to edit the materials coming from the DWG file. You can turn them into arc and design materials and choose a base template for them. You can also apply texture maps to the various channels in the material. Some templates may already contain texture information, but you still might need to fine-tune their values. To keep the integrity of mapping coordinates in 3ds Max, you may elect to add the UVW map modifier to the link geometry. In Design Viz mode, Use the real world map options to define map sizes as they appear in the real world. Significantly, if you make a change to the DWG file, 
can be updated in the 3ds max while preserving some of the changes made an example is changing the size of the balcony in AutoCAD to make it deeper Once the file is resaved in AutoCAD, notice the red flag next to the file name in the File Link Manager. Using the Reload tool, the file is reloaded, updating the balcony size in 3ds Max, yet preserving the material changes you introduced. If no additional changes are expected to the DWG file, you can bind it to the 3ds Max scene to remove any dependencies. The link is now broken and any subsequent changes to the DWG are not updated in 3ds Max.